Hey everybody, just giving y'all an update on Pop. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these, but uh, everything's going good. Um, it's been, what, four weeks since we got him back? Month, something like that? Um, so we, we, you know, we've been doing, you know, two or three videos, new videos a week. We've been posting those and then, you know, we've been circulating old videos and all that kind of stuff. Just kind of keep people engaged. Uh, but Pop's doing very well. Y'all can probably see from his videos that his mind is extremely sharp. Uh, he's starting, his mobility starting to move around a little bit better. Uh, his flexibility, dexterity, everything is, is, is starting to come along. Uh, you know, his weight is, you know, his, uh, his weight is, is still down, but we're, we're, gradually building it back up i mean you know it takes a while for that esophagus to uh to heal and to be able to take uh you know uh the amount of food that he was eating prior you know before the surgery uh so it's slowly but surely but he's gained probably five or six pounds um uh, in the last i would say three or four weeks uh going into the hospital and and in the hospital i mean he lost 10 to 15 pounds i mean he, he wasn't looking good um, you know, I, I know that when I was doing those videos before I was giving you the best case scenarios, but you know, the, the, there was, there was, there was always something in the back of my mind that was telling me if he didn't get out of that hospital soon, he, he might not have made it out of that hospital. Uh, I, you know, that was just something that I kind of kept deep down inside me because I, I wasn't, I didn't want anyone to to lose faith or anything like that, but we got him out. That's the most important thing. He's building uh, his weight back up, uh, his nutrition. He has the uh, the physical therapist that comes. That they were three times a week. Now it's down to two, so we're trying to wean him off that to get him to one one day a week. But Nan said that he's responding great to the physical therapy. You know, he's able to move around the houses. You know, he had limited mobility before with his spaghetti legs and all that kind of stuff. But with the physical therapy, she said it's been helping. Uh, he's been able to get around the house a lot easier. He's able to, to sit down, get up, you know, pick stuff up off the floor. You know, sometimes I'll go there and I'll help him in the shower and all that kind of stuff and wait and, if you know, assist him uh, where he needs to be assisted when it comes to a shower. I mean, you know, it is, what well, you know, throw pride to the side. You know, we got to do what we got to do. Uh, but he's been doing very well. I, I honestly think that, even though he's recovering right now, he's recuperating right now, um, he's doing a lot better now than he was, I would say, a few months ago, uh, two or three months ago, even back during the summer. Despite his weight being down, he's looking really good. So uh, a lot of progress, and I appreciate everyone, the thoughts and prayers. That pulled him through more than anything. Um Everything else has been has been going very very well. Uh, and Nan, you know, uh, I haven't. She hadn't told me the results on her biopsy. I don't even know if she's got them yet. Uh, I she was saying that she has to get a call that she has to take a call this week or a consultation or something like that from um, the the uh, the dentist. So I'm sure they're going to give her some information then. Uh, once I find that out, I'll I'll uh, I'll pass that on to y'all. But she's doing very well. Uh, you know, we're getting cooler weather here, uh, in Texas. I mean, it was, God, it was like 99, 101, 95, 90 degrees. Now we're getting 45, 42, 46 degree weather nights. So we like that. I mean, that, that, it, if that doesn't scream Halloween is here, uh, fall season is here. I don't know what does, but I bring on the cooler weather. I can't do this heat anymore. Uh, I remember when I was younger, people were like, oh, it's, it's, it's always hot during football season. I'm like, man, when I was younger, midway, three quarters of the way through football season, it got cold. I'm talking about thirties and forties. And it looks like we're seeing some of that weather pattern, weather patterns come back around. And I like that. You know, I, I'm a fall winter guy. I can't do this heat anymore. Um, y'all seen the contest I've been doing on Facebook, uh, where we're giving away the cutting boards. Giving away the pop cutting boards, they're about, what is uh, 11 by 15, something like that. But you can see, looks pretty good. And it's, and, and it's a really good size cutting board. But this is this is the pop one. I got about 10 of them that I got from uh, Grady Haulers at uh, Boudreaux's Woodshop in uh, Marlow, Oklahoma. Here's the, here's the man and pop one. Looks pretty good. It's also... I, 11 by 15, something like that. But we're going to be giving these away. I just think it's a it, it's a cool thing. Um, before we get into uh, uh, Thanksgiving season, turkey season, uh, some some of y'all are able to to order those from his uh, website uh, if you wish. This is the uh, 
that's the let's see for what the it's the glare it's the glare anyways y'all can see Boudreaux's wood shop I hope it's not backwards on here but anyways I'll post the uh, link in the uh, comments uh, he's been a pop watch fan uh, Grady's been a pop watch fan for a long time so uh, he asked me if he could uh, uh, do a pop watch cutting board so he made one sent it to me I said you know what I want 10 of them so helping support a small business we got 10 of them in I decided I'm gonna you know, uh, do fan giveaways for those. And I think it's just, it, it's cool. It's, it's a one of a kind of thing. It's not like you can walk in any shop and get something like that. But more importantly, we're, uh, helping small businesses thrive as part of our uh, small business initiative. Uh, so, you know, uh, small businesses are still hurting, especially with, you know, one, two, three, four, five employees. You know, it, it, it's just hard to, uh, to uh, turn the tables with this thing, especially when you make the products yourself, you know, you got to be able to reach, you got to be able to, to get your product out there to be able to make profits and uh, to be able to weather the storm. So what we're going to do is all the boards. I told Grady Hollers at Boudreaux's Woodshop, I said, all the ones that you sell, all the profit, you keep 100% just because, you know, we appreciate you being a Pop Watch fan and being able to, us being able to get back to him, he's being able to get back to all the fans and get them things that they couldn't get anywhere else. So all the profits, 100% uh, Boudreaux's Woodshop gets the key. You know, we do this a couple of things, uh, a couple times during the year. Tuscaloosa, uh, Violin Crafts, they did the little uh, pop and man tumblers. We're going to be bringing those back, but supplies are short right now. So I spoke with her the other day and I said, once uh, supplies come back, uh, off those boats, off the coast, uh, on those container ships, uh, I told her that she'll be able to make some more of those for our fans and she'll be able, also be able to keep 100% uh, of the profits as well. But like I said, go to Boudreaux's uh, Woodshop on Facebook, uh, B U D, I can't even spell, B U D R O apostrophe S Woodshop, Boudreaux's Woodshop in Marlow, Oklahoma. And, uh, there's a website where you can go and order. Uh, he was telling me that he, he was excited. There was over 100 orders uh, like day one when we advertised this the other day. So he said he was very thankful and he appreciates all the fans, uh, all the Pop Watch fans out there helping him, helping him out. But like I said, this guy, he, you know, he's done stuff for Duck Dynasty. He's done stuff for quite a few celebrities. You can go on his Facebook page and also his uh, website and see all the, you know, uh, beautiful uh, woodworks that he's done. But uh, support local, support small business. And like I said, if there's any more updates, um, I'll be sure to uh, let y'all know. Uh, I'll find out about Nan, and I'll keep y'all updated on Pop. I'll post all the Boudreaux's Woodshop stuff in uh, the comments below. But like I said, just, uh, I don't know, I, he's having usually about somewhere like a week turnaround that he has to manufacture the products to ship it out. But it's, you know, for these boards like this, which is 95% maple, 5% walnut. I think that's what he said. These are $80 uh, shipped domestically in the United States. I, I wish he could ship overseas right now, but you know, I, I shipped something to England the other day, a box that weighed like a pound and a half and it was $108. Ridiculous. But believe it or not, that package got to England. It was actually a Pop Watch fan. Uh, the, uh, one of the overseas giveaway. It was $108 for the uh, shipping. He got it in six or seven days I shipped something to Washington State and it didn't get there till almost two weeks later figure that one out but like I said uh, these are on his website you can order them uh, eighty dollars uh, that shipping included domestically I think he has some other types of woods that you can get these logos uh, put on but they're a little more expensive just because you know linear feet of wood is expensive these days uh, whether you're talking about the Hell, I can't even remember the types of wood that he told me. But anyways, uh, you can actually pick any of the cutting boards that he has on there. They might be a little more expensive, but you can actually get the uh, pop watch insignias and all that stuff lasered on there. Uh, it even comes with his logo on the back to where you can see his website. I don't think it's inverted. But anyways, help small business. I'll keep you all updated. Uh, appreciate you all hanging in there with me and enjoy the pop watch videos. Thank you.